Hello everyone, it's Melinda and today this is going to be a very exciting video, <laughs> one of my very favorites, Petrified Wood. Um, so Petrified Wood is the name given to a special type of fossilized remains of terrestrial vegetation. Um, so some people argue it's not a fossil, it is certainly a type of fossil. Um, Petrifaction is the result of a tree or tree-like plants having been replaced by stone via a mineralization process that often includes permineralization and replacement. So first I'll show you my beautiful uh, petrified wood from Madagascar, my nice large specimen. Uh, it has been cut and polished, so it's very, very attractive. Um, and this one was marked as being identified as quartz. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, I love this piece. I just love it. <laughs> and look at the size. This is a stone, guys. This is absolutely stone. And it looks so much like a tree. <laughs> oh, I just love it. See? Sliced but unpolished on the back. And the polished one is just gorgeous. It looks like a painting, the Earth's painting. <laughs> um, so the organic materials making up cell walls uh, have been replicated with minerals, uh, mostly a silicate, uh, such as opal, chalcedony, or in this case, quartz. Um, <clears throat> in some instances, the original structure of the stem tissue may be partially retained. Um, so unlike other plant fossils, which are typically impressions or compressions, petrified wood is actually a three-dimensional representation of the original uh, organic material. So it's as if this tree is still here, except for all of its cells have been replaced by minerals. So it's no longer organic. But boy, does it look it. <laughs> um, this one is also from Madagascar, but it was marked as a petrified wood branch. So a smaller section from a branch. It's also been uh, polished, but I can show you the rough, raw sides of it. Again, looking very much branch-like. <laughs> the colors in this one, so gorgeous. Just stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> the uh, petrifaction process occurs underground uh, when wood becomes buried in uh, water saturated sediment or volcanic ash. So I'm actually very, very lucky and blessed. Uh, <laughs> a new friend of mine from the U.S. sent me uh, this piece and these two pieces uh, from her collection. She was just very kindly sharing with me, and I'll uh, return the favor soon enough. Um, but I was beyond, you know, just floored. I was so excited. I love petrified wood, and these are... You know, they're not polished, one is cut, uh, the other ones are more raw, and yeah, I just didn't have anything like that in my collection. As you can see, they're quite unique. Um, so I was very, very excited and very, very grateful to have these. So this one was just marked Petrified Wood. It didn't come with a location. I absolutely love the texture and the colors. It's almost like, um, like a reddish orange. And then in here, it's almost like a grayish blue on a black background. Absolutely gorgeous. So you can see the typical petrified wood structure all around this piece. Um, <clears throat> so when you find an entire forest of this type of material, uh, that has been petrified, it becomes known as a petrified forest, which I think is really cool. Isn't 
that just beautiful? Oh, I love it. I love it so much. These two pieces here are from Arizona. And you can tell they're both from the same area. They're so beautiful. I love the vibrant colors in these ones. Um, so speaking of these vibrant colors, how does petrified wood um, <clears throat> get all of these different varied colors? So elements such as manganese, iron, and copper in the water mud solution uh, during the petrification process is what gives petrified wood a variety of color ranges. So pure quartz crystals are colorless, as we know, uh, but when contaminants are added to the process, the, the crystals take on a yellow, red, or other tints as well. Oh, I just love it, and it's so smooth. So gorgeous, vibrant yellows and reds. Even some like verging on translucent areas. Gorgeous. And look at that texture right here. Just stunning. So I found a nifty little list online um, that refers to the contaminating elements that relate to the different colors in petrified wood. And I think it can be related back to other minerals as well. I think it's a really good list to kind of, <laughs> you know, just shout out. Um, it's, you know, a learning opportunity for all of us, I think. So here are the associated uh, contaminant, contaminating elements and their colors that would show up in the specimen. So carbon would be black, chromium would be green or blue, cobalt can be green or blue, copper is also green or blue, iron oxides are red, brown, and yellow. Um, so we probably have some present here. Manganese can be pink or orange. Manganese oxides are blackish and yellow. And silicon dioxide uh, would be clear, white, or gray. Really cool. I love this piece so much. Oh. Love that texture. Isn't that cool? It's like tree bark almost. <laughs> so petrified wood can preserve the original structure of the stem uh, in all of its details down to the microscopic level. Um, structures such as tree rings and various tissues are often uh, observed features in petrified wood really really cool that it can literally it is literally a copy of the original organic uh, material just in stone in mineral form that is just mind-blowing cool i love it <laughs> oh, so neat So, following the Great Depression in the 1930s, people began flocking to the mountains and deserts, hoping to discover any sort of rock, stone, or gem that can be turned into jewelry as a source of income, because people were really hurting. Um, <clears throat> so, at that time, an assortment of rock was discovered, uh, which included petrified woods. Um, one of my newer acquisitions that I absolutely love, oh goodness, do I ever love it, um, is a pink agate limb cast. How cool is that? Oh, I love it. So limb casts are created when agate is deposited in cavities formed by tree branches covered by volcanic ash. The wood burns away after being covered by the hot ash. Under the right conditions, agate fills that empty space. The result is a piece of agate that has the form of a tree limb, uh, hence the name limb cast. Oh, 
a little bit different than the others, but still so, so gorgeous. So the tree limb was burnt away by the heat of the hot ash from the volcano and left this perfect kind of mold of itself, which was later filled by this beautiful pink agate. Um, some people would say chalcedony. They're uh, pretty much, you know, very, very similar uh, minerals. So either way, absolutely fascinating. Cool. Well, I hope you guys liked that one as much as I did. My goodness, that was so fun to research. Um, well, I hope you maybe learned a thing or two, and if not, just enjoyed looking at all of my beauties. Uh, yeah, I'll be making more videos. See you again next time, guys. Bye!